International Harvester has pleasure in presenting a review of the Orange National Field Days of 1963. Once again, the stage is set for what must be the most remarkable show of its kind in the world, the Orange National Field Days of 1963. Originally one day, but this year three successive days of vital interest and importance to the farmer and to everyone on the land. The Field Days grew from an idea born in 1952, when the Orange Branch of the Grazers Association of New South Wales and the Farm Machinery Agents of Orange decided to get together and stage a show of mutual benefit an exhibition, non-profit making, which would give the primary producers a ringside view of all the latest farm equipment at work and an opportunity of comparing the work done by each type and make. How well they have succeeded is seen by the fact that last year a record-breaking crowd of 43,000 people from all over Australia converged upon the thriving city of Orange to witness the field days, to see for themselves what the machinery manufacturer's products could do under actual field conditions. At this, the 12th anniversary of the Orange National Field Days on specially blocked paddocks at Summer Hill, a two and a half thousand acre property on the Mitchell Highway, five miles east of the city of Orange, practical demonstrations cover every aspect of power farming. These then are the 1963 Orange National Field Days, the greatest display of farm equipment and aids to primary production ever shown at the one time to the Australian public. A truly national event, and this year, bigger and better than ever before. A short time ago, this was a peaceful country estate one of the many farmlands which form the outer area of Orange. Now we see it taking shape as the testing ground for whole armies of equipment, the scene of friendly competition, as each manufacturer puts his machines through their paces. Feverish activity everywhere, a sense of urgency and expectation is in the air as the stands go up and display areas are made ready to receive their equipment. More and more equipment arrives to take part in this great event, by road, by rail, from all over Australia. Long, weary miles, some have come from as far away as Perth. What a fantastic amount of time, energy and money has gone into the making of these National Field Days. But even in the midst of such pressing business, there is always time for a tea break, and the welcome sight of the boiling billy is the signal to down tools for a moment for a very welcome refresher. But the show must go on. On one manufacturer's local testing ground, experts check every part of the equipment to be shown. Dependable though the particular implement may be, bearing a proud name, there must be no errors now. These men are trained operators, skilled in the use of the machinery they demonstrate. They carry themselves with pride and confidence in their ability and the machine's capabilities. <laughs> 
A crawler tractor responds willingly to the hands of its operator. Today's farmer must be a man of many skills. Engineering, science, economics. Yet behind him stand the big names in farm equipment, names known throughout the world, names built by constant research and the development of new machinery to meet new demands. New machinery and a constant race to keep up with an ever-expanding world, to provide food and more food, to provide clothing, to meet the needs of a fast-growing nation. a sunburned country of droughts and flooding rains. The vitality of this great land lies in the poet's words. And so the supply of water is an essential part of Australia's economy. The pumps, the sprays, the flexible piping all play their part in distributing this liquid gold. And so the busy scene goes on, testing, making ready, looking ahead. At last the great day dawns and the crowds pour in. This is the day that everyone has been waiting for. The primary producer, the manufacturer and the general public. People have travelled hundreds of miles to be here. The displays and demonstrations are many and varied. There is something to interest every visitor. For instance, this new method of controlling weeds. Voluntary helpers provide the meals and hot water is always in demand. There are welding displays and boats. And the award-winning machines attract a lot of attention. But the activities inevitably centre around the big machinery demonstrations, for they are the heart of the field days. It has been a time of intense interest, a time not to be missed. It has been a time to reflect on the great national significance of this event. At the field days, tremendous interest was shown in the launching of a new Australian-made tractor, the McCormick International A414. Here now is how the news of the event was captured on television and radio.
the white hot metal pours and another great Australian tractor is born. McCormick International A414, the Australian 40 horsepower diesel with all the features. Only 1,095 pounds plus freight, the greatest tractor value ever. And standard equipment includes eight forward speed gearbox, large tire sizes, differential lock, constant running PTO, new positive disc brakes, very touch draft control and category number one and two linkage. There it is, McCormick International A414 diesel, only 1,095 pounds plus freight. See your IH dealer now. This morning at the field days, great interest was centred around the International Harvester exhibit when Sir Alan Westerman, who is the Secretary of the Department of Trade, unveiled the new McCormick International A414 tractor. Here's how our cameras saw the unveiling. So, Mr. Johnson, I have very great pleasure this morning in uh, uh, doing what I partly assisted in doing back in 1958 uh, when Mr. Stillo and I discussed the possibility of this being manufactured in Australia and completing the job and I understand this cord will fall. I'm going to try it in just a moment and then you can see what is behind you. Congratulations to International Harvester and I trust that Australian made will do well, will go well, uh, and will be typical of Australian community, city and country, hanging together, lest they hang separately. Also today, I had the pleasure of meeting Mr. Bill Harper, who is the Australian sales manager of International Harvester, and Bill and I chatted about the significance of the new McCormick International A414. Mr. Harper, what's the significance of the McCormick International A414, which was unveiled today? The new McCormick A414 diesel tractor was manufactured at our Geelong Works, which incidentally is celebrating our 25th year of Australian manufacture this year, next month, in fact. It means that we will be making three models of diesel tractors for farm use, also the 50 and 55 horsepower, and we will be producing more than double the present quantity of wheel tractors at Geelong. We hope that we will sell this unit not only in Australia, it's a low price unit, but also for export. We have chosen the site of the Orange National Field Day for its introduction, which you have just witnessed. Well, thank you very much indeed. We've been speaking with Mr. Harper, the Australian sales manager of International Harvester. Another of the International Harvester men I met today was Charles Forrest, the New South Wales sales manager, who was able to give me a good look at the A414 tractor. Well, now, Charles, what advantages does this A414 have to offer to the Australian farmer? Well, the 414 is... You are all aware, possibly, it's a successor in Australia to the B414 previously imported from England. Its big advantage to the Australian community is the 40 horsepower diesel motor, the 8-speed gearbox, very touch hydraulics, and the availability of this tractor in various models. For instance, we have the high clear version over there, which is particularly suitable for the vegetable farmer or the row crop farmer, enabling him to cultivate high-growing plants without damage to the plant itself. We come back then to the regular model, which is of particular interest to the grazier, uh, particularly for hay baling and that operation, and then to the orchardist or the model with the downswept exhaust immediately behind us. Also, the small cereal grower finds this tractor of particular advantage in handling uh, all the various equipment you need on cereal growing. In addition to that, we have one very good feature, which is the two-power takeoff available in 540 or 745 revolutions. This big advantage is that it gives you the full power of your tractor at your drawbar plus the power at your power takeoff, and this has been particularly applicable where you are driving big spray plants, etc., around the orchards and the hilly country of Orange. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, we have a full range of matched equipment to go with this tractor. 
I was going to ask you about that equipment. Uh, well, now, the features sound pretty right. What about price? Well, the price is one thing we're very happy about. The price is 1095 pounds, which is the lowest horsepower, 40 horsepower diesel tractor in Australia, so equipped. Well, now, we've seen the new tractor on bales. We've talked a lot about it. Let's see it at work in the field. Another highlight of the Orange National Field Days was the new implement, Award of Merit. The British High Commissioner in Australia, Sir William Oliver, presented the awards, two of which were won by International Harvester. Managing Director Paul E. Johnson accepted the penance on behalf of the company. The awards are presented for farm machinery or attachments of advanced design, thoroughly tested to carry out the claims of the manufacturer. International Harvester received awards of merit for the A61 cultivator drill and the A31 Unabeam disc harrow. The Unabeam is seen here with a model 660D tractor. The Unabeam does an outstanding job in new or ploughed ground, giving smooth level seed beds. Heavy duty design, all boxed sections, gives maximum trash clearance. Disc bearings are rubber mounted and sealed for smooth operation. In the words of the award, the A31 Unabeam disc harrow is used for harrowing with left or right hand turns and giving parallel setting whilst moving by hydraulic adjustment. The operator has full control of the implement at all times and maximum penetration is achieved on re-entering the work. The A31 Unabeam is an outstanding contribution to mechanized farming and is available in 9 foot, 10 and a half and 13 and a half foot sizes. During the 1963 planting season, the McCormick International A61 cultivator drill was widely acclaimed by farmers in all states. And now, at the Orange National Field Days, the A61 has received the new implement award of merit for its many outstanding features, which include the exclusive cranked axle design which gives low loading height or alternatively high lift of nine inches for road transport. The lift is operated by remote control from the tractor seat and the cranked axle design enables the whole machine to be raised or lowered rather than just the floats. This feature is exclusive to International Harvester. For simplicity of operation, the A61 has one gearbox instead of two fully enclosed oil bath type with independent chain drive. Giant capacity grain and fertilizer boxes reduce stopping time. The A61 cultivator drill is available in 16, 20 and 24 row sizes with four types of interchangeable ground tools, both tine and disc. Another international harvester machine which had its first showing at the field days was the A210 Scarifier, notable for its uncluttered lines and many advanced design features. There are two basic frame sizes, 10 and a half and 12 and a half foot, giving a full range from 17 to 25 tines. The simple and robust hitch and leveling screw is in one unit. The front tine cuts a track for the wheel and prevents crabbing while the tine mounted behind the wheel eliminates wheel marks. With wheels mounted inboard, the overall machine width is greatly reduced. Under frame clearance of the A210 Scarifier is 19 and a half inches, and high lift gives six inch ground clearance for transport. Prong type scrapers prevent mud build up in even the wettest conditions. The modern design and clean uncluttered lines of the McCormick International A210 Scarifier make this machine the leader in its class. A210 and its award winning partners, the A31 Unabeam and the A61 Cultivator Drill, clearly show the progressive trend that IH is taking in offering Australian farmers and graziers the equipment best suited to modern day needs. We extend our congratulations to the organizers of the Orange National Field Days of 1963.
This review was presented by International Harvester and their dealer organisation throughout Australia. Thank you.